In this problem, I'm showing a picture of a triangle. A little cute backstory about a lake and a surveyor, but basically this is saying solve for the dotted line side. So I want to figure out one of the sides of this triangle. And in this case, um, let's decide whether we need the law of sines or something else. Okay, we, we always need to be careful about that point. What are you given? That's the first thing you should ask. You are given a side and an angle opposite. So as soon as I see a matching pair right there, I'm thinking, okay, this is probably law of sines. What else are we given? We're also given this side right here. And that's enough to go on. Once you have a pair plus anything else, you can use law of sines. So what do I want? I want this right here, little c, that side, which is opposite angle c. But I can't get that first. Even though I want it, I, I can only solve for one thing. The next thing I have to find is this angle right here, because that completes a pair. Okay, so let's write the law of sines. And I'm going to say, what do we say here? I'm, I need angle B. So I'm going to say it like this. Sine of angle B over little b equals sine of angle A over little a. This is all I can do at the moment. There's nothing I can do about C. We'll get to that later. So sine of angle B, um, well, I can rewrite this to say sine of angle B equals little b times sine of angle A divided by little a. And now we plug in the things we know. I know little b is 438. If you look at the picture, that's the side opposite angle B. And sine of angle A, that is sine of 37.4 degrees. And then what do we have left? Little a, that is 506 according to our picture. Okay, so just plug that into your calculator. Let's see what we get. 438 sine 37.4 divided by 506 equals, I get this, sine of angle B equals 0 0.52575 and so on. Right, so now we do the inverse sine. I say I want that angle B, so I'm going to do inverse sine in my calculator of this thing, right? 0 0.52575, etc., etc. Okay, I would not round when you're doing these problems. It usually gets you into trouble with rounding errors. So we get this. Angle B equals 31.7189 degrees. Great. Okay, that's not what we wanted, but it's a step in the right direction. Because now if you think about it, step back a little. What do we have? We have angle B. We were given angle A. When you have two angles, you can find the third angle no problem. Okay, let's pull up a different color here. So this is going to be 180 degrees equals angle A plus angle B plus angle C. So that means I can simply say angle C, that's the last thing I don't know, is 180 degrees minus the other two angles. So what do we have? 37.4 degrees. And the one we just found, which was 31.7, I'm going to call it 72 degrees, but don't you round when you're doing your calculations, okay? I don't want you getting dumb rounding errors here. 37.4 minus 31.72. Okay, we're going to get something like this. Angle C equals 110.88 degrees. Okay, super. I didn't want that either. I wanted little c. See, we ended up having to solve the entire triangle before I could find it. But we have enough to go on now. I think I can wrap this up pretty quick. Okay, just pick my last color here. Little c over sine c equals little a over sine a. You could have picked b also, that would have been fine. Okay, so that means little c equals, uh, it's gonna be little a times sine of big angle c divided by sine of big angle a. We just plug in what we know. Uh, little a is 506. Uh, sine of angle C is sine of 110.88 degrees. And then it's divided by sine of, uh, where's where's a? I lost a. What is a? 37.4 degrees. 37.4 degrees. Okay, so let's just plug this all in. So that thing, okay. Let's try this again. 506 sine of 110.88 divided by sine of 37.4. Pretty big lake. We get, we get little c equals 
778 meters. Okay, and that is the answer to this problem. These problems always come down to first double checking that you're actually going to use the law of signs. And then just do what you can. Uh, the direction that you go in will usually be chosen for you, right? You solve for the angle B because that's the only thing you can do. Then you use those two to find the angle C because that's the third angle. And then there you go. You're at your answer, little c.